guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 1 and 2 of season 2 of Awadi Monogatari. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 1 and 3, 2, 1, go. See how the hell they're gonna save this child. Like, ugh. I feel like I'm on drugs. 420 was yesterday, Pete. It just still feels so weird because the way last week ended, and I'm like, oh my god, that would all make sense. Like, just finally, we're getting her back. It just feels like a whole year has gone by, but I'm happy because she's so precious, and I love her so much, and I just want her to come back. It just, like I said, it feels so weird not to have her in the show, but then to finally have her back in it, like, uh, I can't. <laughs> this better not hurt though I mean just to get her back please okay good <laughs> oh my god thank you <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm a guy in kill juice, though. Uh huh. And guy in with her. Yeah, and your girlfriend's still calling you. Mm 
Yeah, but you're not hugging her. You're just, you know, still lying on the ground, staring at her, thinking that this is a dream. Well, you know, at least you're not doing it like with baby Hanukkah, because... <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is a fucked up way to die. I mean, Mm-hmm. Mm. You poor thing. <laughs> really? This is how he's like on Thursdays with his daughter, he made. <laughs> oh my God. Except not with the panty shot and everything. <laughs> oh God. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh. Please no. <laughs> well, that's what you get. Sorry, needed to adjust. Of course. <laughs> yeah, this is like purgatory in a way, maybe? So you've been stuck here the whole entire time? The...
Mm-hmm. And then they talked, and then he was killed. And then he came here. What? Yeah, what exactly did you do to descend all the way down here? <laughs> we literally literally about to go on a tour of hell for the whole entire episode. But why? I got a why though? I mean, you could have gone to heaven. I assume you were in heaven and you were fine. Not here. That's sad, though. But there's gotta be a way out, right? I mean, what is it, like, confessing your sins or something? Something like freaking an origami with freaking Yukina code or something? I don't know. Of course. Well, then what about you? What the hell are you doing here? Mm. Bruh, I am like tripping balls. <laughs> and I am even on drugs. <laughs> Honestly, we'll never know.
Mm-hmm. Well, Guyan knows everything. You know, yeah, I am too. Because the relationship that you two have with each other is just like... Mm. There's still chemistry there, but I mean, and I still ship it, but you know. Best girl. Send Johanna. And then this probably would have happened to you. Mm. And then maybe he wouldn't have gotten shot by that kid. See, the one thing that I like about this episode, it's doing a lot of what if moments, and I kind of wish this did in the beginning, where it's like, what if he did this? What if he did that? And then we got to see like an alternate route, almost like Steins getting annoying, but it's okay. Of course. But if you did, then she possibly wouldn't have become what she was at the time. See, so many what ifs, so many freaking time travel alternate routes and ish like that, butterfly effect bullshit. Just give me a figure of Ononoki, please. Like, there was one that's like three hundred dollars, and I really want it. But like, oh, it's so expensive. I still have a bad feeling about this.
बहुत है See, it's gonna it's gonna be someone we've met before, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Because I mean we're almost done with this episode. Or it's gonna be someone that like I kinda remember, but then at the same time I probably don't, so we'll see. Or it could be someone who was just in one episode and they're finally coming back for some weird reason. Mm -hmm. I don't remember your name. Don't remember his name. <laughs> but it is interesting how he can't remember. Uh, yeah. Why is that? I mean, he she's been hella important just as much as every other girl that he's officially met in this damn series. And having a time to sit down and talk to, to someone about their feelings and how he felt so many arcs ago. Because she was there to listen to him no matter what. Anything that he really wanted to talk about, she was there for him. Not Senja Hara, not Hanakawa, not anyone else. Oshinozis was there. So how in the world do you forget her and not really remember her name or anything? Like, right then and there. Like, something about that seems a little off to me. And maybe in the next episode we'll get our answer to that. But who knows? I mean, typically, one minute it's like, if you have a question about someone, 50 out of 50, the next episode doesn't really give you the answers that you want. It's usually either episodes three to possibly the very last episode of this arc. I'm not 100% sure. I'm happy that Mayoi is back because, like I said, I've missed this child so freaking much. The reunion of these two characters, I, I mean, we all knew it was going to freaking happen. This man is spinning this child in around panty shot right there. Like, that's what he does with this child. He may on Thursdays without the panty shot because we all know that because he's in love with his daughter. He may so freaking much, but not like, um, that one other series the, with, uh, freaking Latina, my other child from that show. It's not like that. It's just, we, it, like, <laughs> it's so funny because watching this and seeing him with any yacht lolly in this show versus my dad's taking ambition, it, it's like, it's somewhat similar, but it's different at the same time because of the fact is in that show, he's trying to hide his secret from his daughter. While with this, it's just like, fuck it, he's just out there. I mean, this is not going we're talking about. And the voice actor still just gets me because, I mean, we're on like what episode? We're, I think we're about to be on episode four on that show. And like every single time when he does something so ridiculous and dumb, and I'm like, there you go. There's our Agaragi here for a week. But yeah, I mean... I'm just so happy. I just, I want to know how this is going to end. And we're about to start episode two in a couple of seconds. But still, we we have a couple, like, several more episodes to go. But this could end in so many ways. I feel like maybe Senja Hara Hanakawa, maybe his sisters and all these other females from the series are going to help in some shape or form. I'm not sure how. I feel like Gaian's going to come in some way, I felt it's really more of the episodes that people told me that were really important in the previous arc, including me and Monogatari. They're all going to show up in this in some specific way. It's like, okay, remember when you did this? Remember when you did that? Yada, 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 yada. This is, and that bullshit. But it's still not only trying to figure out for him how to get out of hell, but it's also how to also get my way out because 
that's what we're doing at the end of the day is getting her out of this because I, I mean I'm sitting here like going when she left when she was out of this show at the time and I'm thinking this child is in heaven she's finally with her mom and her dad and around her family and she's loved again just as much as she was loved at the beginning of this show even though you know her family was gone and such and then to wake up in, you know, not even purgatory, in hell, and she's there. And because of the fact is, if a child dies before her parents, they automatically get to sent, sent to hell. I'm like, are you serious? I'm like, it makes you wonder how much that's true. But then it's also like how, and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to get a little too religious on it. It's like how when some people say committing suicide is a sin, and stuff like that and other things like if you do this you're going to hate you're going to hell and stuff like that it's a little more this, because with some of the things that I always said it felt a little more religious esque in this episode not too too much where it's like thrown at you but just like little hints and bits and pieces in there but it was still a really good episode I'm just happy my child is back I mean I love the fact that they kept switching between both our styles because I do love both our styles so much but yeah this was a Really good episode and I cannot wait to see what in the world is gonna happen in episode two but go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode two okay episode two and three two one go And because of the fact that he died, and because he's in hell. Of course. So that he could be okay. There you go. That makes sense. Yeah, mm hmm. All makes sense. Mm. 
of course. Mm -hmm. Being told to hurry by who? God? The devil? That is so creepy. Okay. Usually you can't get it the first time, it takes a couple tries. But then the question is, who made the request? It, it wasn't you, so then what? Guy? Meme? Could just kick his own ass. Which honestly, she still has not told her about like that entire show, so hopefully that happens soon. Okay, so who the frick is the middle man, though? It can't be Mamie. It is. So. Even when this dude is not here, he's still here, and it still comes back to him. Oh my god. Oh my god, I feel like so cute!
this some Frankenstein type shit? What the fuck? But now you do. But then, hold on, wait, no, what about you? He was mainly here for you. Just like that, huh? Mm. I like a snake. But my way, though. <laughs> hmm. 
my land justice is goodbye. Again. Oh! Uh. Really, by the way? Yes, it is okay! Like my way, or just anyone else. Mm -hmm. You still have a lot more to do. But still, hold on, wait, what about you? I mean, I thought he was coming for you! Of course. <laughs> That's so pretty. Hmm. Well, once again, bye, my eye. This isn't what I wanted, but... Hmm. Yeah, what can you do? That's all you do. <laughs> so sad, though. Really? I thought we were starting at three. Don't let go.
Mm, too many times, let's just say that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. What? See, that's why we never try Oshino Mami's needs. I'm just saying. Okay. You had me there for a moment. I really thought he was going to leave her there, but like, come on, because it would have felt so, still so weird not to have Mayo in the show. Like, damn, this is going to be the last episode. She wasn't going to come back again. He took her home. <laughs> but. Mamie's niece? Are you serious? Like, out of all the people, his niece. You know what? I mean, I don't know how to feel about that. Like, really, I, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked, honestly, out of all the people, for it to be her. Why, though? Out of all the people who sat with him, Her. I, I was like, I assumed that that was his friend, that she wasn't going to have anything to do. But yeah, I mean, this is his niece, for Christ's sake. I mean, <sighs> what the heck going to happen now? I mean, he, he going to have a talk to her? They, they got to fucking talk. That was reckless mm -hmm. and stupid, <laughs> but I get it. Of course it is. I honestly hope so. Okay, so you telling me we're not even going to talk, talk to Ocean's name in the next episode? I mean, we're not going to confront her. If it's not in these next two episodes, it has to be like... Five to seven, because there's seven episodes in this se second season, and I mean, we we need to talk to Oshino's knees. I mean, still, I love the fact that even when Oshino Meme is not truly in this series anymore, he still is mentioned 
seen whatever there's something about him that is always still featured in this show even though he's somewhere probably at the Bermuda triangle drinking on something or just smoking something he's somewhere he is somewhere in the world right now just fucking chilling out like a badass motherfucker but i don't know like it would just be nice for me and probably this is not going to happen for the last arc in this show and i think it is after this arc um Last episode, he comes in, makes one final appearance, just to end it all. That would be really good. But still, we need to talk to his fucking niece. I mean, I trusted this girl ever since she's, like, first officially come on this show. Yeah, I've been a little spectacle, like, suspicious of her. Didn't know if I could truly trust her, especially when she was going back one minute. She was a girl, next minute she was a guy. And you're sitting here, and I'm like, I'm so confused, but it's okay. I understand, and let me do some research and look it up. But still... Out of all the people, why? Out of everyone, the one who sat with Agaragi listened to when he wanted to talk. Because I'm trying to go back to like the issue that I said in the last episode. Because I like literally confused myself because I was thinking it was I, I switched the characters because I thought Ocean when he was talking about Ocean Mame, I thought he was talking about the girl. But no, I mean, really, out of all the characters, the knees. And, and just watch. They're not going to explain that. And then when we get to episode 7, I'm just going to be like, you still didn't explain this, so you have only one arc to explain everything. But honestly, I don't know. We're not going to know when the world happens until I watch the next two episodes. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Futurist episodes 1 and 2 of season 2 of Awani Monogatari. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day join the Marshall Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 3 and 4. Bye, guys!